Good evening, everyone. I hope my voice is loud enough for everyone to hear me. I'll stand here in the middle and I hope that everyone can hear what I'm saying. I've been ambushed by this couple to help with uh, uh, the program tonight. And uh, the first thing is to welcome Baby Genesis. I'm sure everyone can read the name already. So no surprises, no suspense. We all know it's Baby Genesis. She's a beautiful girl, very quiet, already sleeping. <laughs> no trouble with the parents, no sleepless nights. And I think she's following the footsteps of her brother and sisters. Her elder brother and uh, elder sister. Um, we've been gathered here to hear from the parents. Uh, they are going to tell us the name of the new baby. And we thank God. We thank the family. We thank everyone for... Uh, the gift of a new baby and uh, after we hear from uh, the parents of the baby we are going to hear also from uh, close parents and we shall have a special song by the family after that we will hear a speech by Stella's parents and uh, we shall have the blessings of Baby Genesis by Pastor Andrew, Pastor Charles, Pastor Patrick, Pastor George, and Uncle Baptist. Thereafter, we shall have a speech by Claude and Stella. And uh, they will tell us other names of Baby Genesis. Now we know it's Baby Genesis because we have to refer to her. But we know that she's got other names, so they are going to tell us what those other names are. So without much ado, I want to uh, call on Pastor Andrew to help us with the prayer. And uh, thereafter, we shall have a speech by Thank you, Pastor Andrew. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for this night. We thank you for your protection since morning up to this moment. We thank you for your love. We are still breathing, not because of anything that we have done, but it is the love that you have shown unto us. Right now we have gathered here, Father, with a purpose. And the purpose is to give thanks unto you, my Father. There are many things that always happen in our lives that come unnoticed, my Father. There are many things that always come in our life that sometimes we don't see your involvement in it, my Father. But we want to thank the family uh, for acknowledging your greatness upon their life, for acknowledging the gift that you have given unto them, my Father. And this is the kind of appreciation that, Father, you wanted us to always uh, do in response to what you are doing in our life, my Father. And Lord, we pray for our stay here, that Lord, you will protect us, you will guide us with all this program that has been laid down. We pray for your blessing upon each and every person who have turned up today here. We pray uh, for the baby, we pray for the family, we pray for the close friends, 
We pray that, Lord, you will plan in our heart to support this family in any way that we can be found. Lord, thank you, Jesus. I pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you. Thank you, Pastor Andrew, and uh, thank you, everyone, again, for being here tonight. Uh, without I want to take this opportunity to welcome you to our home, the home of our son. Francis Francis's family. Presented by Claude. We want to tell each one of you that you are most welcome here tonight and uh, we want you to feel most comfortable. The family of Bushaisha, John, is uh, family that loves guests and uh, wishes to spend a lot of time with the visitors. So on his behalf as a representative of uh, himself and his family, me, I'm the elder brother to Claude. We've all gathered here tonight, and I can see we are a significant number. It's nothing that it's not that we have not been visiting this family all along, uh, Claude and Stella's family. We've been visiting all the time. <laughs> But tonight is a special evening, and there is a reason for that. The reason is because, uh, as you can all recall, uh, last year or a year back, we had uh, their wedding, and now they are blessed with a new life in their family, a new addition in their family. That's why we gathered here tonight, so that we can officially and uh, very openly welcome a new member of that family and uh, we also get the opportunity to hear the names that she has been given. So that next time, whenever we meet, 
the new member of our family because it is not just Claude and Stella's baby, it is our baby, all of us as family. <laughs> Whenever we meet her, we shall know her, we can call her by name, we can give her direction if need be, and uh, uh, she will not pass, pass by without being noticed and being identified as an individual. <laughs> So now I want to call upon the parents to stand. As you can see, they are very smart tonight. I want them to step forward and uh, so that we can uh, continue the proceedings of tonight. These parents of this baby girl, we want them to tell us the name of the new baby girl. Her name is Katishave Kariza Genesis. So you've all heard? Katushave Kariza Genesis. Katushave Kariza Genesis. Genesis, the baby, as you can see, is very peaceful. And as you know, in our culture or in the African culture, uh, a baby is very close to being uh, an angel. And you can see she is just like a small angel. So, Mizina Jumujango, Nero, Najamoshimi, Estera, Claude. So, in the name of the family, we want to thank Stella and Claude as parents. To go, uh, Fatanye, Murukum, Fitanye, Yavakavaja, the Kuichi, the Korbachanga, Musarunga, for their union and uh, the love that they share amongst themselves and the achievement uh, or the blessing that they have received from God uh, in uh, this life we are celebrating tonight. So as a family we wish you uh, to be blessed with many more children. To have the means to raise the, all those children, many children, and many grandchildren, and great grandchildren, and so on. So, in the name of Bushaiza's family, uh, when, a baby, when a baby is born, we we donate a a cow to the new baby. So the family of Bushaiza has given her a cow. So I want to thank you again once more tonight. I want to thank the family of Claude and Stella. Because without their love and uh, being together, we wouldn't be here tonight celebrating this new life that they have been blessed with.
But thank you all. We wish you all the blessings from God. As you can see, they are taking beautiful pictures. Uh, someone here has asked of the meaning of the names, and uh, I'm, trying, I'm, I'm going to attempt a translation of the name. Katushawe means let's pray or let's ask for God. Kaliza, ah, that's very hard to translate. Kaliza, Katushawe is a Ugandan name. Kaliza is the Rwandese name, I believe. It's a first, first daughter. Kaliza, okay. It means first daughter. And uh, Genesis, I'm sure you know what Genesis is. <laughs> so I've, uh, I think your, your question has been answered. And uh, we allow them some time to take pictures, souvenir pictures. And uh, when the choir is ready, there is a special song that they have prepared for the event. Uh, there's a song by the family and we shall give them the time to perform this song. After the song, we shall hear from uh, Stella's parents. Yeah. So thank you, uh, Renatus, for a good speech. And on behalf of uh, Bushaiza's family, uh, when the choir is ready, please come forward and uh, let's have your song.
big hand of applause to the choir and uh, thank you for the beautiful song. I think Claude has an assignment now to mobilize more uncles to join so that the best voice can be heard loudly, just like it is always heard in any Seventh day Adventist church singing. So that's for the next baby. Uh, now we will hear from uh, Stella's parents. Please uh, come forward and uh, give us your speech or speeches. Or you can stay where you are, but make sure no, no, the voice is no, no, no. loud enough or you come forward. I think the light is also bright. I'm sure they will speak in English or someone will come forward and help you in case they decide to speak in Arabic. Because I will not be able to. <laughs> oh, actually, in actually, I will be handicapped. In Arabic, I will be handicapped. And uh, but that uncle is, uh, is 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 there, and I'm sure he can assist. Uh, good evening to everyone. Good evening. Yes, I think this is the. Uh, the most beautiful time now. I call it beautiful because of the creation this God has given to this new couple here. You know, in our tradition, let me explain before I just go deeply. Every you get married to a wife or a new wife it should not take time in our culture it should not take more than four or five years without uh, having the, the creation like this this is our culture if it's not happen it does not happen then you will find that there will be rumors just going. <laughs> People will begin to doubt what is wrong between this and this wife and, and husband. People begin to just, and good enough that I'm very happy that God has given the flower here. And that is the meaning of the of the marriage. I'm talking. My name is Anthony, and I'm the dad of Stella. I'm very happy for their marriage because God has blessed them. And always I pray. I continue to pray even that the child should have a blessing, should have a blessing. And the parents also, I, I really pray for them to be, God should give a healthy word part of life, of their life, so that they manage to cut, uh, to, to nourish the, this, this little child here. It's called Genesis. The meaning Genesis is very strong in the Bible if someone knows how to read the Genesis. Because Stella and this one, they prefer the, that name simply because uh, you know the Genesis is the creation is the beginning. Is the beginning of everything. Then it will go 
up to the end. Oh, I'm going to man. Up to the end of their life. With that? With that, what? What? That. That is the meaning of Genesis. What I what No, I can't live to. And I thank God for that one. So, I don't want to bore you much. Niko a record in a South Africa. My partner will just talk oh. um, add something briefly. Yes, she is welcome. You're welcome. Yeah. I know this my 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 brother. Uh, see, maybe he will give some word for encouragement to this couple. But I'm going to talk in my language. It's a theory. Yeah. And of course. I want to, to thank everybody for coming and I'm very happy for your coming. Yeah, point Charlie Papa or Ragi. On my in-laws part. So whenever they see me, they call me Mama Mama, I'm I feel really thrilled, I feel very happy. And when I keep coming to Paris, you make my uncle about the king kick it by your cane. Even on my part here, on my community level, um, some of them I've never, never called them, but they're here. I really feel happy and may God bless you so much for coming. Because they love us so much. Yeah. Uh, last, last year, I was really not, not well. There was a, I went through a lot of things in my, in my life. I wasn't happy. So, and then recently, he said, like, get back. Then, then he, he asked me what could be the name. Then we started discussing the name. Yeah. She don't get no one in Genesis. Don't go better guy. Discuss on our country Genesis. And then we come up with the name Genesis, the beginning. And now this is the beginning of everything. We need to start a new life. Can you come to the market? I'm going to win. Whether you've been in loggerhead with somebody here and there, but we can't do everything, so everything. New, new stuff. Uh, when I see you like this, I'm very happy. May God bless you so much. Yeah, Thank you very much. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much for expressing your happiness. It's a, an evening of joy. Before we hear from the parents themselves, we are going to have a prayer and blessings. by uh, the pastors and uh, Uncle Baptist. But I'm told Uncle Baptist wants to say something before we proceed with the blessings and prayer. Uh, so Uncle Baptist, you have the floor. And okay. uh, I want to tell the parents, uh, thank you for your, uh, expressing your joy and sharing with us in your joy. As uh, Renato said, we are family. And Genesis is not just clothes and stellas, it's ours. So I say, uh, Fadio. Okay, um, I'm standing here as an uncle to Stella, and then I've got also a special relationship with him. I'm going to talk about him later. But um, first of all, I want to take this opportunity to say thank you to God for organizing this time to enable us all together to come together 
as a bro brothers and sisters to celebrate this wonderful moment in the life of this family. I also want to take this opportunity to say thank you to all the pastors here for coming and even a wonderful friend of Stella, Christine. I met her once but she's a very lovely friend to this family. And she's the only one here. You are welcome, Christine, to this family. And, um, and all the, the, the friends on my left hand side here, you are almost welcome. And to the in-laws, you've got a special place in my heart as well. You know, like um, last year and even a year before, we met in the hall twice and we really gave advice and we really built that bond, bondage between us. So you are such a wonderful, you come from a wonderful community, wonderful family, and you are all wonderful um, in-laws. So I want to thank you so much for standing, especially with our family, the family of Anthony, the family of uh, Stella, up to this time. You are like this. Everything, we all stand together. So, may the Lord bless you so much. And I believe we shall continue like this. We have demonstrated it. We have, we are, we have already withstood, withstood the, time, the time. And everything is good. Um, I want to come to Stella and, um, and my friend Claude. You know, last year, I spoke twice. I spoke twice on your wonderful occasion when you invited me. I said, you are an honest man. Right away, when you look at me, you are an honest man. And then, when you want your marriage to last, you need to model yourself on, on somebody also responsible. You will find you get happiness in your life. And then I said, number one, um, First of all, you need to trust God. You need to trust God, you and Stella and the kids. All the time, talk about God in your family. You know, talk about God, 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 talk about Him in all occasions in your family. Then number two, as I would say, you need to talk about yourself, you the two. You know, find time, you know, find time, wherever where you can, find time to talk about, talk about Stella, Stella, talk about um, Cloud, you feel, you, you know, get that joy, and you feel very happy, and this is exactly what has been happening, so, and then number three, I said also talk about your marriage, you know, put your marriage there, so talk about your marriage, what do you want your marriage to be like, because nobody can bring that joy for you, it is only you, therefore talk about it, and then number four thing I said, you are going to be blessed with kids, with many, many kids in your life. You know when uncle speak, uncle speak with a blessing. <laughs> so, so, and it did not take long. Now we have seen the blessing already. And the next one will be a boy. The next one will be a girl. Again. So, <laughs> so bless you so much. So, I said um, you are going to have kids. And now, when you have kids, kids sometimes come with a with a big responsibility. Kids sometimes can take away the happiness in your marriage, but it shouldn't be like that. Instead, these kids that are born in your family should actually bring you together. Should actually bring you even stronger in your marriage. This is what I said, and I can see there is a there is that love, there is that energy in your marriage, which is a good thing. And to Genesis, Genesis, you are born into a lovely family. Uncle is talking to you, Genesis. You are my, my niece. So, we pray for you. We pray for you and you will grow. You will grow, you will have that wisdom. You will have knowledge. And you have understanding in your life. And you will grow, you will be a good child. That can bring happiness in this family. And um, you, you throw out the challenge. You know, the, 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 what, the, the in-laws. You throw the challenge with the one cow. I don't know what it is, but in our culture, 
We don't have something special like that. But what they are going to do, you know, there's also a time the child has to go into my house. There's a challenge that I need to throw you, throw it to you around. The child needs to be taken to the uncle's house for a visit. And whatever is there, we cannot reveal to you. Here. They are here. They can listen. Yeah. So sometimes that one will happen. And um, I don't want to take long, but I want to say, I want to say this. You know, the kind of. I've never seen maybe an uncle and then knees and then the husband of the knees, they are very close. Uh, me and, 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 and Claude, we are, like, we are not um, in laws anymore. We are really brothers. He loves me so much, this boy. When I, when I come here, he runs up and down in the house. <laughs> and when I come here, always barbecue. Uh -huh. You know, that, that thing. <laughs> and it makes me also fun, you know? Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> on, on, on Thursday, on Thursday we came here. I didn't even expect it. He was calling me, you know, Uncle, we are here, we are here, waiting for you. For what, my friend? Here, come, come, come. When I came over, the table was already full with the food, you know. So that is a, it shows the kind of love that they really have towards me and towards this family. And I want to thank you so much, my, my friend. May the Lord bless you so much in your marriage. And uh, we may fill you with a lot of blessings. Whatever way that the blessing may come, God actually can only, only knows it for you. So may the Lord bless you, Stella, and stand firm with, with him, hand in hand. In any challenge, in any goodness, be together. So may the Lord bless you so much and have a good time. Don't, 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 don't sit down yet. You are still going to uh, call upon your colleague pastors, Pastor Andrew, Pastor George, Pastor Patrick, and uh, Pastor Charles, to pray and uh, bless Genesis, and uh, we will be also here listening and with you praying. Thank you. Um, it is a new word anyway. It is a new word for me. What is going to happen is we have come here to, to reveal, to see the baby, but something has been in the middle. The baby has to be dedicated to God. And this is a special, a special occasion at this time. So I want to call upon a special uh, time with the, the man of God here. We've got four men of God in front of us here. For me, I'm not, I don't have that, that, um, that, that, that power. So I want to call George, come over here. Stand up. Andrew, come over here. Charles, come over here. And then Patrick. Come up here with your with your women as well. So whatever you do to be that, maybe um, maybe we can lead the way for
Uh, okay, my dear brothers and sisters, we have gathered here this evening uh, to see this beautiful baby that God has given us. We believe that children, according to the Bible, they are gifts from God, gifts from above. As we come to pray and dedicate the baby, we need to know that God has given us a time as his children always to give thanks in whatever he gives us. So without his special blessings, we wouldn't be here this evening uh, to witness this special occasion. So we are going to have just a short time and pray. But before I pray, we have a, a verse from the Bible in Proverbs chapter 22, verse 6, reading from King James Version. And this is particularly to the children. And this, are a, this is a verse that some of us were trained with our parents. Train up a child in the way he should go. And when he's old, he will not he will not depart from me. Training is one of the most important things in our lives. Today, we, Today we are beautiful children of our parents because our parents took that time to train us. This beautiful couple here, they wouldn't be like this without the training from their parents. And the same way is going to apply for our little Genesis that train her in that way. God is going to be with you. God, God is going to watch over you. Because the Bible says in, in, in Psalms 127 that unless God watches over the family, the watchman stays there throughout the night doing nothing. Because God makes you sleep well. He makes you wake up in the morning to go to work and come back. It's not our own effort, but it's the effort of our God. And so with these few words, I just want to thank you for giving us the opportunity, also as church leaders, for welcoming us to come and dedicate this child to God. Before I just pray, let me say this word. I'm not sure if it is in your language, but I learned somewhere that we have a mononga. Is that a way? Yes. It's the way. So I, 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 it, it's good that I, I am able to say that. But thank you so much for this time that you have given us. So I will ask you to give me the baby. Then we pray a prayer for dedication. Yeah, you can cover. Cover with this thing, my friend. Yes. It's good. Mm. Yeah. And I would like also Stella to stand up and, I mean, and just ask you some few, uh, few questions. Mm -hmm. This is what we do in the church and uh, it's uh, something that God has given us to do. You know, yeah, the first question is that, do you believe that God in his creation has given you this baby by his power? Do you believe in Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior of your life? Do you believe uh, or do you accept to look after Genesis and raise her in the fear of the Lord for the rest of her life? With this belief, I'm going to put my hand and dedicate this baby and pray. Let us pray. God our Heavenly Father, God of all creation, we thank you tonight that we are here in your presence. Our being here is not by accident. It is the time that you have prepared for us to come and be together. We thank you for little Genesis. We thank you for giving her into this family. And we pray that Heavenly Father, as they raise her, help them. As parents, they have a lot of responsibilities. 
There are many challenges that may come in their way, but Heavenly Father, tonight, all of us who are, are gathered here, we agree that in the name of Jesus, you are going to help them and look after Genesis. Heavenly Father, we pray for the leading of your Holy Spirit. We pray that God, they will invite you in their family and that you will be in the center of their marriage. We thank you, Father, for bringing a man and a woman. And you say, whatever is joined together, nothing will separate. And tonight we agree together that is going to happen. So, Father, we dedicate this child in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Believing that you are with this child and you will continue to bless this family and bless the, whole, the entire family as they come to visit them, that that joy will continue to be in this family. Now, for Genesis, may the blessings of God Almighty, God the Father, God the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you and the man with you from now and forevermore. Amen. 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 I wish there was a language you can speak without just feeling, you know, not in English, in our own language. But if you ask me, I don't know which language am I going to use. I love my in-laws' language. I love my own language, and also I love the other language, but it's very hard. Um, sometimes to start is very hard. You don't know where to start, but I will be able to say just a few words, and I'm very sure the meaning will be very, very strong. Before I start, I'm going to call three people to start next to me. These people, there will be a reason. I want to call Ahmed to come here. Ahmed to come here. Second person, I want to say something. Always, when you talk something good, something good will happen to you. But when you keep talking something bad in your mouth, something bad will happen to you. In my life, I got very, very good friends. Let me say, all my friends, I will ask Yahame to represent them. Then I'll be able to talk about the friendship. There was something was going to happen to my life, but God saved me for some reason. The reason was tonight. If I died when I was young, like this, uh, the Genesis, this won't happen. If I died in a few years after that, this was not going to happen. But in that journey up today, I've been with the friends. I remember in 2017 and 2018, I used to keep saying, oh my God, I don't have family, I don't have, but today, I have a family. When the day Genesis was born, I found there is a God in his own people. I was meant to go to work, and I did, I went to work. When I was at work, because that day Stella started to feel a little bit uncomfortable, I asked Ahmed. That's why I would be scared to say friend, that it's a family member. I called Ahmed, I said, you know Ahmed, I know both of us are working, but 
it would be very hard for me to go to work when nobody's with Stella. He said to me, okay, I'll be on phone with you and Stella. If something happens, if you cannot go, I'll go. Genesis, before when we went to the hospital, she was meant to go on, on 18th of November. After six months when she was in a womb, the doctor changed and said, baby will be born on 10th of November. I want to put all of together how God was working by himself, but also he was with his people. Then the doctor said, no, you know what? No, it's not going to be on 10th anymore. Uh, we went to the hospital. They even sent a letter. They said on 7th. There will be like, uh, you know, they give us another letter. They say we're going to go to the hospital on 4th of November. If baby is not ready yet to come, they're going to have cesarean on 7. But God can hear what doctor talking. He can see our preparation and everything, but he have his own plan. On 31st of October, uh, she has no more appointment. Like uh, we go, always get appointment. That's when I was asking Ahmed because she was really, it was very heavy for her. I was scared to drive and I was feeling, feeling something is happening. So I asked Ahmed to come home and drop Stella to the hospital because I was really tight at work and I, I'm trying to get the way I can leave work and I meet her to the hospital. Ahmed brought Stella to the hospital for appointment. I came to meet them to the hospital just to see the appointment. As soon as I arrived there, the midwife said, oh, hang on, I think something's not right. We look each other, she's, she don't even have, I think she have a small handbag, nothing else. I said, nothing's happening. Hamid left me there, he came back home. I saw he was sitting in the car, because there is, uh, we couldn't get, there are no alerting people to go. Then midwife say, oh, you know what? Let me talk to the doctor about the, what is happening. Look, I'm just from work, she came for appointment. No one knows what is happening. But by that time, Genesis' life was really struggling. She was not going to make the next day. And it's 31st, but the doctors, they've been planning their own plan, but God does have his own plan. Then the doctor said, okay, you know what, we're going to have this baby tonight. I said, oh, no, I'm not ready yet. I was, before, I was keep saying, I guess I want to have this baby. But when they say, baby's coming, I don't know what to do. <laughs> That's true, I did not know what to do. Then I start to ask her, she's looking at me, baby's coming, yeah, baby's coming. Yeah, what should I say? <laughs> the doctor, she was very lovely. She said, okay, let's go. Her midwife come with us. We go down, they do scanning. They say, ah, baby is coming 7 p.m. I said, no. At least let it come tomorrow morning, very early in the morning. Because <laughs> my birthday is always in November, and I was really thinking that this will be November. It did not happen. Uh, uh, her sister, Doreen, her birthday is always 18. She was saying, yes, it will be mine. But whatever we're thinking, it's totally different. When they say the baby is going to be born at seven, I say, okay, now it's true, it's happening. Uh, we go very, very good friend. The second one, I'm going to talk together with Ahmed. Christine. Christine, can you come here, please? When I was not sure what to do, I, can't, I couldn't, I forgot. I was supposed to call Aunt Flo. I'll call her in a minute. But that day, it did not come in my mind. I was supposed to call my mom in law. It did not come to my mind. I don't know. I was a little confused. When we are down there, thank you so much, Christine, for being part of the family to the last. When we are down there, where we, they say, okay, baby is coming at 7 o'clock. Then, uh, yeah, as a man, now Christina come there. When Christina comes, she hugged me. Everything disappeared. Now I start to say, oh, no, we're going to do this. I was not scared anymore. <laughs> yeah, because already Ahmed came here and grabbed the bag. She was smart. She packed her bag a long time ago, was ready. Ahmed came and carried the bag. Then when I say bag is there, 
Oh, she's comfortable. Christine is talking. This one, it's very easy. I did how many times? I did so many times, and my daughter also have done this. Then I said, ah, yeah, we can do this. I start the car. I say, okay, let me go home and have a little shower. I'll be looking like a good father because I finished work. Because they, it's true. They say baby's gonna be born at 7 p.m. Now from 1 p.m. was appointment. It's around around four, I think so. Let me go and see if I can have shower. Then I'll be looking smart. You know? uh, of course. I start the car. I come to to have shower. I think everyone passed the roundabout there. Before I reach there. Ahmed was calling. Where you go? Come on, come back. I said, well, Ahmed, stop. I know how you're panicking. You know? Because he was waiting baby more than I do. You know? We were like competing. Just because of the deep friendship. He feel like this baby, he couldn't wait. He called me, he said, Oh no, come back. The doctor said you the baby's gonna come now. I said, stop, Ahmed, I know you like talking too much. I continued like a little bit stronger, but I was shaking. <clears throat> when I was opening the garage, he called again. They said, you know what? Now the doctor said they have to go. And your wife said, she's not going. You have to come. Then he mentioned, they said, oh, and the baby, the life, the health is no good. Uh, what do you think I was going to do? <coughs> Now I need to accept what I'm talking. Before I reach there, I got like 10 calls. She's calling, he's calling, she's calling, he's calling. Oh my God. When I, did, uh, I went straight where I lived, there was nobody. It was like, if you know the Jesus story, when he was died, they buried him. And then, Maria, when they come back, they couldn't find me. To where I leave my wife and my friend, when I come, there is nothing. Oh, nurse, what is happening? They say, come, come, come. They're just going. I <coughs> find them. When we reach there, take this one is serious thing. That, that's when I start to think about, oh, they're going to cut her. Now I start to process how things going to be. They told me, they just dressed me with something, not this one, but something similar the gown and say, okay, you know that, sit down. They start to read a book to call me that. Sit down there, we'll call you when we are ready. What happened to me, I can't explain. I forgot the pin of my phone. I couldn't unlock my phone to call someone. I couldn't unlock her phone. I have both phone, I always do. I don't even think about the number, I couldn't. I forgot all pin. But everything happened for a reason. Maybe I was going to be worried or something is happening. Uh, I got a call from Christine who was very, very comfortable. She wants to know, how are you guys going? I feel she's taking it easy. That's only another second word make me to be strong and feel like it is possible. Finally, they called me where she was sleeping. When I went there, what was in my mind, I was thinking, oh, you know what, maybe now she can't even recognize me. She was looking at me like this, the eyes were open. Okay. She, then when she saw me, she, she started to drop tears. So I called her, then I said, oh, tell me what are we going to do this? Baby born, I saw baby before her. And the doctor said, yes, touch this is your baby, you, you can touch it. I start to feel now baby is possible. But straight away my heart went back. Think about if it was in 2017 where I feel I'm alone. What was going to happen? I realized the, the family, they are very important in our life, but it's all about what we choose. I can choose Ahmed to be my family member if I want to use that word. I can choose to have Ahmed as a friend, if that's what I choose. But the main thing, what it means. To me, I feel, I, sorry, I wish everyone here will be there the way Ahmed was there for me in the, by that time. I wish everyone will be there for each other the way Christina was there. 
we need these two people who is really feeling the way you feel. But also we need people who have experience about what you're gonna go through, then we'll make you to be real be comfortable. Thank you so much, Ahmed, and thank you so much, Christine. I promise you in front of these people, we will do our best. Me and Genesis and Estera, Kate and Robin, we will do our best for to support other people the way you support them. May God bless you. So, uh, before I finish, before I finish, uh, I, I want to call my wife to come with them. We say the, the last one or not the last one. In life, when you are alone, you always feel cold. You always feel like you are losing. You are not. You are not full. But when she's around me, everything is working. To forget that password, I'm very sure was because I couldn't get. I couldn't get that one. Yeah. So I want to say thank you for everybody for coming, and uh, may God bless you. That's it. I know, I know the time. The time is really bad. Um, so yeah, my husband spoke a lot yeah. about everything. I, that's not even enough. And, I want and, to say more. You know, there is <laughs> more. more. There is, we continue. Tomorrow. There is more to say, but because of the time, we are not going to talk much. <laughs> what I want to say now, um, <laughs> I'm so happy. <laughs> I'm so happy, and. I don't know where I can start, but I, I I have a lot to say. I wish I could start, you know, from <laughs> how I met you. <laughs> but because of time, I'm just going to say these few words only. Um, you know, we got married last year. You know, everything happened. We had a tradition. We had the wedding, you know. Everything happened one year, and today we had a baby, which is a new year of, you know, what happened. So... You know, in the process, you know, of having a baby, of course, you know, when they got married, people expected to have a kid, right? Yeah, there was things that happened in my life, you know, before baby Genesis. So, you know, yeah, I don't want to go in, into this thing. But what actually kept me, what, you know, gives me that motive and the courage that everything would be okay. You know, Uncle Buck is saying, <laughs> you know, and that thing, he, I'm actually happy and glad that he mentioned it. I was going to mention it too, you know. What he said before, I remember that one word. You know, when the doctor told me, Stella, you may not have kids, you know, because of what happened, because of my medical history. He said, you may not have kids. But then I, God say that you can have kids. And kids come from God. Then also one thing that kept me going, Baptist, Uncle Bucky say that I remember his speech on my wedding day that oh your marriage will be blessed with children. Then I say no, it will happen. And then today he, he also mentioned that he he did mention that your marriage should be blessed with kids, you know? And exactly that word happened. But whatever doctors say, you know, I didn't put it in my mind. Whatever everyone was saying that oh I could not have kids. But my uncle blessed me. He blessed me the, from the first day I met you, the handshake. He blessed me on my wedding day. He blessed me that I will have kids. And I had kids. So there is nothing, you know, God cannot do. And if you have an uncle, his blessing, he will keep going. You know, that's why I really acknowledge him. I can acknowledge his word and I respect him. He's a big man in my life. You know, since from Africa growing up, I told you there was a speech that I said that I grew up in my mom's house, but all my journey with my parents is behind me. So his word stood until now. He said, we have baby Genesis today, next year will be baby boy. So his word will be continued, <laughs> you know, and with God too, everything will happen. You know, baby Genesis is not actually, I didn't mean the beginning. Because I had kids already. You know, when somebody thought, or oh, maybe why am I saying it's the beginning of the kids? But I already have two kids. Claude met me when I was a single mom. I had already two children. But Baby Genesis is a new, to me, it was something new to me because I haven't experienced actually 
a good life with husband and wife. You know, I had, a, you know, some fault with, you know, my, my ex, and then I didn't ex had marriage, but everything happened when I met this young man, and everything was working according to the way God wanted it. Actually, I had very good life with this man, and that's why I say, the beginning of a good life in my life. Amen. You know? Amen. So that's why I named him her baby. Genesis. 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 Not, because, yeah. not because she's a fat, fat girl, but because of the good life I oh. I'm, I'm, I'm oh. a parent. Yeah. So I actually told my parents, I say this baby is baby baby Genesis, but not because She's a fast girl, but because it's a fast life of good life, of what actually God wanted me to have in my life. That's why. And I'm really blessed yeah. I have you. Yeah. Because you, you, you told me, even without a baby, we have already two kids. We have Kayla and, and Robin. You will stick by me. But I told you, no, it will happen. Baptist already blessed me. God will bless me. And we're going to have more kids. <laughs> Tonight. Yeah. So, Tonight. Thank, you, thank you so much for your word and for your blessing in Pontino. The blessing in Pontino. Yeah, so I don't want to talk much. And my parents, you know, stood by me from the, the day one I was born for 30 years. Now I'm 30 years. So, mom and dad, I acknowledge you people very much. Actually, you know, I don't know. It's, yeah, I don't want to talk much, but uh, Auntie Florence. You are there. You are auntie. You've been everywhere with us. And I also want to acknowledge you, my good friend, Christine. The first day we met, you say you're going to be my labor man. <laughs> my labor at the hospital. Straight away when we met, we had a coffee, we had dinner, lunch, and you say, oh yes, you are going to help me at the hospital. And you did. From the day one up to now. Actually, God bless you for that. And for everyone, my community, my friend, my in-law, Renatus, I want to mention you. <laughs> You've been there, and my grandpa, my um, father-in-law. Um, you can't say. I can't say. <laughs> my grandfather, I want to ask, ask, not grandfather, my father-in-law, I want to also acknowledge your presence. I'm so happy that you're here. And all my in-laws, I mean, his brother and also the Uganda man from here, he will say his own later when the time comes. I also acknowledge your presence here. Thank you so much, my community. I'm so happy. God bless me with the Genesis and with all of you. Thank you. So I think I think some of these speeches are going to go on after yeah, after we go in the bedrooms and elsewhere <laughs> and uh, I am sure I just want to repeat one word that was said to Claude keep going <laughs> okay you keep going now uh, I'm told that food is ready and I'm hoping that everyone has a drink but before we proceed to uh, having some dinner I want to call on Pastor Charles to bless the food. Then uh, we'll start with his table, followed by together with the couple, and we'll continue like this, finishing here, going to serve ourselves. Thank you. Almighty Father. Heavenly Father, we thank you once again for this opportunity that we can joy, join together in the happiness and the joy of this family. We thank you for all the speeches and we thank you for everybody who is here tonight. Before us is food that has been prepared. We pray that before we take it, May you bless it and bless the hands that have prepared that we may eat and find strength to serve you in your ministry. Bless this food. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. Thank you, Pastor. And uh, 
please Stella and Claude and your table proceed to the table to the dining buffet. I am aware that some people have asked for time to speak. Time will be given. Can uh, start the party tonight. We are going to call on the parents to cut the cake, and uh, I think Amin will help them in opening the champagne. Fido, Fido. Oh, Fido. And uh, I'm hoping that everyone would have a full glass by the time they finish. So that we can all cheer for 
long life to Genesis and uh, continue enjoying our evening. Can we get baby? Sorry? Can we get baby? Baby Genesis. Sure, sure, sure. Up to you. If the mother allows baby Genesis to come and help cut the cake, we will wait for her. After the cutting of the cake and uh, the tasting of the champagne and uh, whatever drink you are having, the floor I think will be open for anyone who has come with a gift or anyone who wants to give a speech or anyone who wants to show us their dance moves or their singing talent and uh, after that I think I would resign from my officiating at this function tonight and it will be a free flow for everyone. So uh, we are waiting for baby Genesis to come. Then uh, Claude and Stella will help her cut the cake. Fido will help also open the champagne. Yes. And in the meantime, I hope everyone is filling up their glass. Oh, oh Genesis. Oh, my God. oh they've woken yes. up. You're looking like my glass is full as you can see. So please do as I have done. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. And let's wait for their cup to be filled. And for them to cut the cake, the white one. Then we shall tear up for baby Genesis. Now. I don't know how you're going to cut the cake with baby Genesis, but uh, the knife is not yet there. Oh, or is it? And Genesis as well. Where is it? Genesis glass. I used it before. Okay, okay, okay. The, the knife is just in front of you. Okay. Stella, you all help uh, baby Genesis to cut her zero years cake. <laughs> Please fill up your glasses in the meantime as we enjoy watching them. I see a lot of people don't have glasses. So we need to oh, they need to get it. <laughs> so as uh, Fido is filling their glasses, Fido has two. Push. Yay! <laughs> So glasses. Now shall we raise our glasses? Long life, baby Genesis. Long life, happiness, and uh, all the good things. Those who can sing happy birthday to baby Genesis, please go. But let's have a cheers. Let's have a drink in. I mean, we could. Cheers! Cheers! On behalf of the boss, she can have the cake too. Pasta, uncles, that's it. Five a minute. Five a minute before you leave.
Pastor, if you need to say bye bye, just five minutes or three minutes. No problem. Uh, okay. Yeah, after I mean. And uh, this is a time for gifts. If anyone have a gift, or like our culture, the cow, or whatever, you can give the family, you can come and talk, say something. Wish us, this is the time for our beautiful daughter, Genesis. Yeah, like you, anyone can talk on behalf of family. It's okay, this is a time, take your time. But for me, I will talk myself. I want to talk. Because uh, Lord and the Stella, DJ. I will know. DJ. Stella is my sister. Not sister in the law, but sister. That's the blood. But uh, I would like to speak in my language. That's going to be better. Uh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Especially for the culture talk, we have to speak in your language. Yeah, not in the center. You are very good friends and your family is still in clothes. And in our culture, please, people you are, behind. Someone is speaking, and the DJ, please hold on to music. Yeah. You mwana vutse bi kuri mukuru wa chu changwa se muri muna wa chu ariko njewe Claude ni mukuru wa nje. When we have a new born in our family, either from a younger brother or a younger sister or Barumu nawe na Claude is my elder brother. His siblings get together and uh, organize themselves to present to the brother or the sister who has had a new baby. They present to them something. The family is a very important blessing in our family. So I want to call upon Fido and Rene. Uh, so I want to call on them to come and be with me so that I can be supported as I am uh, giving my speech. We were supposed to be here, uh, we were supposed to be five together here tonight. Two of us are not present tonight. But one is also not really absent because it is Claude and Claude is, Claude is here. So so he can uh, forsake his uh, very comfortable seat and come and stand here with us now. Yeah, Imamu, Muhaguru Chije, Nukwe Rakagomba Kuba Ha Umurjaro, Kano Kuba Ha Bakuru Bela Wamuna. The reason I'm bringing him in here to stand together with us is because he owes us respect and he owes us. Uh, he needs to be together with us and stand together. You shout it. When you get married, it's also an opportunity to present and to praise and to sing for our most prized animals, which are cows. So when a new baby is born in our family, we must make sure that there is going to be enough milk production to also cater for the new baby. Kukumana yavu tse ni yata kunga mashereka arikuwa kabona mata awako. Because we know that uh, even when uh, baby is not getting enough milk from the mom as long as there is milk coming from uh, our herd, our animals 
The baby is going to grow and live. You have to learn how to do a gaze hano. Hari undi muntu kagombye kuba turi hano tura turi batanu. Yitwa Nestor ntago hari ariko dufitwa twamupangiye ko duha umwana inka izamukamirwa mu muryango wa. So we together as I say the five of us the only other person who is not present is Nestor. Nestor lives in Tumba. He's not been able to come because of other commitments, work and family. We've uh, discussed and we've agreed that we are going to present a cow to the family and uh, at, on, on this occasion of uh, having a new baby born. Um. Aho turi inka barayisuzugura kubera ko amafaranga arahari ariko inka dutanga ni umutima wo kubana hamwe turi kumwe mu byiza no mubiri. Well, we are here here. a cow must not be very meaningful. It might sound as if it's not something very important. But where we come from a cow is a very important uh, possession or a very important animal to have. And it brings people and it binds family together. Nicho tukwa wize za nkawa nutuwa hai nga nurukundo tuza wago mahafi na mamu tuwe hafi mujiza, jose, mumahoro, mubirori muzajira tuza wana na mamu ni murja ngoo sebra kosi. So that's what we are promising you tonight as a family and this sign of Presenting to you a cow, an animal, uh, is a sign of love, a sign of being together with you, a sign of unity. We shall be with you in good times, in hard times. We are always going to be together with you. Thank you. There's a Ugandan uh, community representative, it is Lady Rachel, she's coming to also say something. I'm addressing you guys, right? No, you're addressing the camera. The camera? <laughs> okay. Um, thank you so much, Claude, for inviting me today. I was not aware what I was coming to, but when they mentioned your name, I was like, I'm coming. Either way, <laughs> whatever it is there, we'll, we'll figure it out. But um, I'm here on behalf of the Ugandan in Queensland, um, as the current president of the Ugandans in Queensland here in, in Brisbane. And um, Claude has been part of the community. We came from all the way from Nairobi to here. So me and Claude know each other from all the Nairobi to here. We've been friends and we've, we've seen each other in all this um, new Australia, this new world, and he has been a very supportive friend alongside Ahmed. So I knew Claude and Ahmed together as being friends. So personally, I would like to say, um, not on behalf of the community, but as a person, thank you so much for being in my life. Thank you so much for considering me to be the family that we only, the only family that we have in Australia is us, like we, we, us who know each other, we came from Jetuabo Maniyo. Yeah, so Nsanyu Senyo Mambi Okubera, Nsanyu Senyo Kuanga, and Mulu Gendo Rafami, Gendo Rogula Mubo. And I'm so, so, so glad, I'm so, so honored to be here. Bambi Tweya and Ziza. We want to, we would like to welcome you, Mama, in our community. You're welcome in the Ugandan community. <laughs> no, 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 no. So we'd like to welcome you in the Ugandan community. You're welcome. You you like our sister, and you all will be always welcome. You and your family and your kids. You are Ugandan now. That you're connected with Claude. You're Ugandan, so you're welcome. And I'd like to take this opportunity to invite both of you. We have a Ugandan celebration on the third of December. I'd like to invite you guys to come and celebrate with us as Ugandans, as a community. Bring your family. Bring your friends. Bring all the mamas. Everyone will be welcome. Will be at my sister's house in Cinnamon Park. So, you are so much welcome. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Uh, so, I believe it's, uh, that's it.
unless unless there is someone else, I think we can continue uh, our communion sharing in the food that is still there, the drinks, and uh, whoever feels tired or wanting to go home to prepare for Sunday, tomorrow, church, everyone is free to uh, either come and speak, have a drink, continue socializing, or even uh, say good night and yeah, let's uh, yeah, let DJ play the music, and then the guests can uh, send up to start with their music. So the night is standing now. DJ, come on. Time to dance. Stay there in the club, they have to stand up and dance. Then we can join. I mean, you step. I am here already. What is the music? What is the music? DJ. DJ, say on.
you know what I mean? I'll put it somewhere in the middle. Thank you. 